back to our YouTube channel. And as we promised, um, today we are going to be answering your questions. And this are this is our first Q&A video. <laughs> Ready? Uh, shoot. <laughs> Okay guys, so without further ado, let's start with our question. Um, first of all guys, I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much sa lahat ng mga um, nag-send ng inyong mga questions. I am a little bit excited and nervous. <laughs> because um, Dada haven't seen all the questions yet. So he might be shocked. We don't know what will be his answer. But we will try our best to answer all of the questions, guys. But you mga pa ulit ulit na will not be will not gonna be answering that. So the first question is <laughs> first question is from Maria Pamati and Fetzner. Malin Chef. Chef Dennis and Malin. Hi Maria. Hi, hi Maria. Hi Malin. Hi Chefy. Um yeah, they they also have a YouTube channel, guys. They are a Filipina and German couple. They are living in um, Doha, Qatar. So, um, katrabaho namin sila before. So, please check their YouTube channel as well. And her question is, Hello, Jen and Uni. Hugs and kisses to baby girl Ananya. My question is, have you ever thought that you're gonna be married um, different nationality the question is for me but you can also answer it uh -huh. so have you ever thought that i would marry to an indian <laughs> <laughs> different nationality but a foreigner no i never thought never never really i don't know to be honest <laughs> because i've lived so many years of my life outside so i don't know and it was it was not thought before, it just happened. Okay. But she definitely wanted to marry an Indian. <laughs> from childhood, that, that was her ambition. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, guys. Um, <laughs> no, I haven't thought about marrying a foreigner. You're thinking no? <laughs> no, really, I haven't thought because um, when I. When, when I went to Abu Dhabi, my goal was just to finish two-year contract and then go home. But, yeah, I guess it's, it's destiny. Mm, destiny. <laughs> Sitting next to each other. The next question, guys, is from Clarice Ira Abeliera. Hello, Be. Thank you so much for watching. Always. Um, question, Ate. What is the best experience that I have ever had in Kerala so far? To live with me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> You're answering it. The because, question is for me. Because I know. Mm. Yes, but anyway, you tell. <laughs> I think now that we have Ananya, I think that is the best experience. Like you know living living together every day and um, being a mom every day is the best experience so far here in Kerala so you know it. the third question is from Iris Ignacio warrior warrior family yeah. in Singapore hi babe hello um, okay first question is are you comfortable staying in India? What were your expectations and reality? This question is for me. Of course, I will go sit up for you. <laughs> That's good. Um, I am comfortable. <laughs> I am comfortable. Um, actually, there are people who are telling that I have um, adjusted. Um, I have well adjusted living here in Kerala, like. Hindi ako masadong nahirapan. Even though the culture-wise and um, you know the tradition is very different, um, I think uh, hindi because my family are here. You know, um, Dada is here. He's he's here always to support me. So hindi ako masadong nahirapan, guys. I I was I was comfortable. Expectations and reality. I don't have expectations. You didn't, you didn't expect. 
cows will be walking in the <laughs> middle of the road. No, we don't have cows walking in the middle of the road. No, expecting in India, ah. like those expectations, what was the reality? Mm, maybe just like I was expecting, um, you know, people, like most of the people speak um, English language, which is not, like not all the people speaks English here. So, ayun. Her next question is, are you willing to learn Malayalam? Otherwise, you need Uni's translation to be fully engaged with the family circle. Yes, I am willing to learn Malayalam. Actually, I am um, I am learning. Like, Hindi, I'm not really learning like every day they have to teach me something like that. I am just learning it um, through listening. Um, some of the words I can already understand, guys. But I cannot, I cannot of course, I cannot um, like tell a full sentence, but I can understand a little bit. She's picking. She's picking up while we talk in the house. Eh? Yeah, what? while you're picking up the words. Ah, yes, yes. While yeah, we talk in the house. Mm. And also, and also, she's also watching serial in the <laughs> evening. So. You might tell us there, you guys. <laughs> Without choice. Oh, there's there's no any, there's no subtitles or anything. I think that's all. That's also another way to learn. Most of the time, anyway, we speak lang. Uh, we speak English here because um, his parents, um, Amanda Chan, speaks English very well. So, ayun. And her third question is, how supportive are Uni and your in-laws on your vlogging? You answer that. Very supporting. Very supportive. See, I'm sitting next to her right now. <laughs> no choice. <laughs> no. It's just that I'm a bit shy to come in and do vlogs with her. But I've given that job to Ananya. <laughs> she's doing my job. <laughs> she's entertaining yeah, you. Yeah, she's, she's entertaining you guys. So, we are very supportive. And we watch her vlogs. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's it. Mm. They're, they're, they're supportive guys. They don't mind even though I'll just put the camera like on the side and I will just film them. They don't mind. <laughs> no, just that Achan has to wear t-shirt always. Before he, he never used to do that. Mm. Because so. he only wears uh, lungi always yeah. and then um, like without shirt. Now he wears t-shirt because you never know when mm. he's getting <laughs> captured. No, otherwise I will not film body. him. Next question is... Um, from Vama. Hi Vama. Hello Be. Thank you for watching always and for commenting. Hi Ate. How you both reconcile after arguments and how your husbands get jealous? Curious. I'm just curious. Hopefully, mapila mo ako sa mga questions. Ate. Hello baby. Ananya. She's growing so pretty. God bless po. So, that's the question. <laughs> how you both reconcile after arguments? Very easy, don't speak for some time. <laughs> After that, there's no problem. <laughs> that's that's how we argue. Yeah. We don't talk. We don't talk after that mm -hmm. for maybe less than a day <laughs> or half a day and everything is back to normal. Di, hindi ko siya guys whenever I am angry. If you're the one who is angry, yeah. what do you do? You don't talk to me also? Yeah, I don't talk. That's it. Mm -hmm. And after some time, we start talking to her. Mm. We take our own time para kumalma so that we can, um, you know, be calm and then chill. And then, you know, from how we reconcile, just, just, um... Time. Parang, um, we just, like, just like nothing happened. Yeah. Or, I mean, if there is something which we did when we are in good mood, we just say, this is what I thought or what she thought. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm. If there is something to talk about, we talk about it. But if it's just a small, small thing, then wala lang. Kinakalimutan lang namin, guys. Um, you, her next question is, and how your husband gets jealous? Jealous. Jealous. Yeah, because Ananya keeps kissing her, <laughs> and she doesn't kiss me much, <laughs> which is changing now. So that's the only thing I get jealous about. Mm. Yeah, true. Otherwise. Well, he, he doesn't get jealous. Well, there's no any other reason anyway to get jealous. 
there's no reason so there's no need to get jealous for mm -hmm. next question is hotelier slash traveler um jennifer hello be jennifer rondon in doha qatar um goes to both what things makes you upset i think at the moment guys um i don't know hindi ko alam be pero hindi ko alam neng pero at the moment siguro yung what makes me upset is that whenever ananya is not really in the <laughs> in a good mood whenever like she's throw, throwing tantrums ganon otherwise at the moment wala naman maybe for me a bad day while trading mm. that's about it okay next question is May Vijesh, Indian and Filipina relationship. Hi, Be. Did you regret um, settling down in India? Me? <laughs> um, no, guys. Um, hindi ako nagsisi, guys. I haven't. Uh, I didn't regret because actually, from the very start, I already. I kind of know already that we are going to settle down here because. Um, Dada told me even before we got married that he wants to settle down here in Kerala, in India, because um, his family is here, of course, and then his friends are here, and he just want to, like you know, he wants to live and stay here in his own home, right? Yeah, that's why the question is, did you regret it? Ah, uh, that's what I said. I didn't regret because. As long as I have Dada, guys. As long as I have, I have him next to me. Like, <laughs> yes, really. I, I, I am. I feel like I'm strong. I can do anything. <laughs> and Ananya also, of course, because Ananya is there now. And second question is, what is your reaction for those who who are in Indian relationship, who does background check before they marry the Indian? background check well I think if if you really know the culture the Indian culture I think then you will do because you know you know naman guys diba, that their culture is um, arranged marriage well I think that is not a bad thing to do I think it's better to get to know more um, about your Indian boyfriend Yeah, and it's always good to know. Mm, you'll never know, guys. Eh? You'll never know if uh, my asawa na sila dito or my asawa na or alam mo yon. It's not just Indian, but you, you will never know. So mas magbuti na background check niyo or di naman kaya kung kung hindi masadong anes yung inyong boyfriend kung kung yung kung, kung may mga pagdududa kayo ganon. Um, I think it's it's not a bad thing to do. Um, okay, guys. Next question is. For your family, we're against about our marriage, and what um, was it a big deal for them that it was not um, it, that it was not Indian that you, they that you married a Filipina, not Indian? Yeah, initially they had uh, they had some problems uh, because they naturally expected me to marry somebody from uh, my place so when I said about her to the family there was initial hiccups but then but not like really yeah, like against or yeah, not, something not really like, like really oh. really against no this is not gonna happen or whatever yeah uh, so in after some time they eventually agreed and, and it was not a big deal um, not really not really a big problem even from the start just small they had mm -hmm. obviously with their expectations they not expectations they always thought that mm. uh, they always thought that that that, that dad is gonna marry an indian because um he he really wants as, as we have said he really wants to like stay here and settle down here so they were expecting him to marry um, a lady from Kerala or an India yeah just that it's, it's a small small issue 
Mm. Pero, um, yun guys, but the first time that I have met the family, um, ama, um, grandma, and everyone, it's like, it's like really nothing happened. Like, you know, they, it's like they, they already accepted me as their daughter, as their family. Yun, um, I really remember like in the airport when they were um, welcoming me. <laughs> there are a lot of them. There are so many of them who welcomed me in the airport. Um, that was the first time um, we met. And then um, I cried actually. I cried and then Amma also cried. Um, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was so precious. And so... Um, next question guys is from Sai Simpas. Hello bit. Um, hi Ate Jenny. Paano po kayo adjust How did you adjust um, in Kerala especially sa life and adjustment especially um, lifestyle I think and adjustment sa food. For Kuya Uni, how did your parents react when they know that you're marrying a foreigner? Again, same. Um, new subscribers, God bless po sa inyong family. Thank you so much, Bae. Um, okay, me first. Uh, anyway, you already yeah, answered that, no? Yeah, I answered the question. Mm, so, yun na, Bae. Yun na yung um, sagot para sa'yo. Um, for me, um, how, how did I adjust it? Um, Without choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, wala, guys. I, 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 when it comes to food, um, way back in Abu Dhabi, I have already been eating Indian food. Parang it's just parang naging ano na parang naging habit or parang naging usual na rin, na rin sa akin na whenever we cook um that is food I will also eat but um whenever I cook my food that doesn't eat <laughs> Ayun, so um hanggang sa nasanay ako until I get used to it so hindi I wasn't really um having or had a hard time um, eating their food, eating their Indian food. I can eat, I love actually Kerala food as long as it's not very spicy. As long as I cook. Mm. <laughs> so next question is Michelle Jimenez. Hi, hi Daimage. Thank you so much. Sa pagsan out always. Where did you met? Have you worked before? Is there baby number two? <laughs> Is he your first love or is he or she or is your first love? Um, okay, where did we met? You answer. We met in Abu Dhabi. We, mm -hmm. worked, we worked together in, uh, in a hotel. There. We worked in Hyatt. That's where we met. Is there baby number two? Time built up. <laughs> no, there will be. There will be. No, 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 no. Time will tell. Love. Time will. Time will tell. Huh? Yeah, but we are we are planning more. <laughs> yeah, time will tell. Oh. Time will tell. Um, but we we are actually planning to have um, baby number two because you know for an Anya's playmate. <laughs> but not now. Not anytime soon, guys. Not anytime soon. Maybe after minimum three years. Yes. Um, is he or she is your first love? No. No, we have had previous experiences. Gano ba kasakit mga nak? Madala raw smile. Is it very painful to give birth? <laughs> Where you were alone when you were in labor or when you gave birth because um, husband is not allowed to go inside the host inside the labor room. You answer that because that was your experience. I is it painful to give birth? Yes. Mm, labor, not really. I wasn't. I was really not in pain when I was in labor. But the most painful was after my surgery, after the C-section, um, because I was cesarean, guys, and. Um, I didn't have I didn't had any surgery before so that was actually my first time and yun masakit siya especially when they really require you to stand up or to pee or something right now they asked me to stand up right um, after how many hours that was that was the most painful um, experience yun yung first time kung tumayo after the surgery pero 
Um, other than that, hindi ako masyadong nasaktan sa labor, guys. Um, yes, yes, I was, I know, Dada was there when I was in labor, but um, when the doctor decided that I had to undergo C-section, um, since that time, um, since there was already COVID that time. No, no, it's because it's, it's operation theater, you're not allowed to go in. We normally, they allow um, husbands. Operation theater? Mm. Especially C-section. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so especially um, during that time, it was already COVID, May. Um, ayun, so I was alone. Um, Dada were not able to come with me. So, ayun guys. Ako lang mag-isa nung, ano, nung inoperahan ako. Um, how many years is your gap? Uh, two years. Two years. That is turning 33, me eh? at 30, huh? 4. 34, me 30. Chill. <laughs> Very honest, no? Mm, happy. <laughs> happy. Uh, how old are you when you first met? I was 23, and obviously he was 25. Um, Do you speak Bisaya? No. <laughs> He understood some like expressions. How, what then? Some of the words you share. Hala. <laughs> Gara. Ah, uh, Gara. Ah, what is the size of uh, fish? Is the baboy. I so uh, baboy. <laughs> Poor mom. <laughs> Yun lang guys. Um, that's it. And that's it. That's it. Oh, Cebu. Where, uh, where is my place in Cebu? Um, we are actually in Lapu Lapu City, but um, recently we just, my family, they moved to uh, Busay. So, taga gikan sa ano? Um, gikan sa dagat na malimi sa bukid. So, <laughs> so more to the image. Ang kaning kanjus wala ako sa bukid ani. Pero ako na siyang ito bagun as uh, next vlog, okay? Next question is from my cons. Hello sis my. Thank you so much for watching and commenting always. If you're willing to learn Malayalam and Hindi, does um, is your husband also willing to learn Tagalog or Bisaya for him to communicate whenever you um, go to the Philippines for vacation? Willing, yes. Good. Willing. Willing, right? <laughs> I think it will be the same. Just same like, what? Uh, like we both would do try to pick up words and sentences mm -hmm. when you hear things when you are there. So the same way how you are picking up words and language here, mm -hmm. it would be the same for me as well. Yeah, the only thing is that um, we go home to the Philippines like every two years, every three years, and then we only stay there for maximum one month. Or one and a half months mm. so um, he really didn't have um, time to you know to pick up some words also I think communication is easier there mm. with English because mm. most of the people speak English mm. so it's it's easy communication than for her how she communicates here in Kerala mm. so. so I think it is it is more more for me mm. to learn Malayalam. And so for Ananya also aside the Eng um, for Ananya also aside the English um you will you be teaching her four languages. Four languages means Malayalam and Hindi. Um English, Tagalog, Bisaya like that. Um, Hindi I'm not sure. Mm. Hindi, I'm not sure. It's not compulsory that she has to learn. But you have Hindi um, subject, no? Hindi yeah, subject. but it's it's just for some time. It's not compulsory throughout. Mm. You would learn the language, but it's like to be that fluent to communicate through that. Not sure. You? How did you learn Hindi? Because I was outside. I, I lived in Nepal. Mm. I've traveled in North India. That's how I began. Mm. Otherwise. I was very bad in Hindi as well. Mm. Yes. And um, 
Bisaya, guys, definitely I will teach her Bisaya one day when she will understand English and Malayalam. Definitely I will teach her and also Tagalog kasi mas ano eh, parang very similar lang din naman. So, ayan. Then, um, are your in-laws are strict? Strict? No, they're not strict. Amalachan, they're not strict. They're very cool. <laughs> How did how did you convince your parents? How did you convince Amanda Chan about our relationship, especially when we decided to um, get married, or especially when you decided that you want to marry me? How did I convince? Mm, how did you convince them? Um, I don't know. Maybe you told them one only, you no know, one time, like. Once I came in for holidays, I told them, but at that time they were not happy about it. But before that, they don't know, no? They don't have any idea or no. they were... No, no, no. They don't have any idea before that. Mm -hmm. And then, by the next time, uh, I think by the next holiday, they had already changed their mind. I mean, we had frequent talks through the phone while I was abroad in Abu Dhabi. So, and then support from my brother and sister mm -hmm. so yeah they they helped a lot to convince mm -hmm. parents as well I, I, met, I met them first mm. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah they were both of them were really supportive of us and helped us a lot to convince oh, the family convince, so yeah. yeah and it was not a very difficult process mm -hmm. to be honest and the last but not the least question is are you pregnant right now <laughs> oh, a few a few people already are asking are you pregnant maybe because of my dress and of course because of my stomach is getting bigger but no guys i am not pregnant i wish though but not now um yeah i just need to do some exercise and dieting that's it <laughs> um question is from Erickson Bonaventura. Hello, babe. Thank you so much for watching from Abu Dhabi. Mm. Hello, Ananya Ganda. Ask ko din, may nabibilan ba kayong pork dyan? Um, is there any shop who sells pork or uh, can, I, can I buy pork here? Um, if yes, um, am I eating it here or do they allow me to eat pork? Yes. Yes, guys. Um, merong, uh, merong nabibili dito. Um, the shops that are selling beef, they're also selling pork, but not all shops, no? Yeah, some shops which sell other meat also sell pork or there is shops which particularly sell pork itself. Mm -hmm. So pork is widely available. Here in Kerala, I'm yeah, not yeah. sure, I'm not sure in other states, guys. It's, it's widely available. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, they're not strict. They my family actually when it comes to food i am very very thankful that um you know they're very supportive about my food whenever um because they know that i don't eat uh, very spicy so parang nila lessen nila yung spice ng kanilang pagkain you know? so they also adjusted um they also adjust when it comes to food you know? so and they don't they don't really tell me anything whenever i want to eat or whenever i want to cook seafood or pork or anything so i am i am very free here guys did you cook pork here yeah i did once i know once or twice already actually nag vlog ako noon time noon guys i made ano um pork adobo yes so and next question is from apna gaziaba and dear i want to know what were what were your both families reaction when you told your family that you want to marry with each other Similar question, no? Yeah. Mm. So... But you have to answer about your family though. Um, my family, they they don't... They're just a very typical Filipino family, guys. They don't really... They don't tell you whom you're supposed to marry or... They, they're just... They didn't say anything, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they know that I have a boyfriend, Indian boyfriend. They knew they knew about that time because we were together for like three years. And they, they said to be careful. Be careful, why? 
Just joking, oh. my God. <laughs> no, and uh, yes. So they didn't say anything. Walang walang reaction. Um, as long as they know that um, I love the person and they know that um, you know I chose the the right person. So yeah, they trust me about my decisions. Next question is Chenski88. Hi, Be. Watching. You remember her? Chenski88. Watching from mm. Saudi. Yeah. yeah. Hello, cutie Ananya. Your smile is always. Uh, your smile is my loneliness reliever. Love you, baby. Take care. Take care. Mo always be. Question. How tender are the Indians or how sweet Dada Uni to you? For Dada Uni, what do you like more about Mommy Jenny and what do you what you don't like about her? <laughs> Love you, baby. <laughs> Love you to be. Salamat. Okay, for me first. How tender? How Indian husbands? Indian husband. How sweet. Very oh, oh, sweet. Everybody is diabetic. <laughs> Very sweet. He is actually diabetic. <laughs> Nada is sweet actually guys. But not really in the sense that um, you know he will give me flowers. Well before when we were uh, boyfriend and girlfriend um, he used to give me flowers. And like we celebrate um, all of the occasions. You know, yung Mansaris. Normally um, we celebrate Mansaris, but now we don't. We don't anymore. And then, um, yeah. Now, hmm, about gestures, that is, that is actually sweet. Hmm. But he's not very. No, um, you are not like vocally sweet mm -hmm. because you don't say like, "Love, I love you," because you know this and that. You don't. You don't tell that to me. But you're just you're showing it through actions. Like I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> For you. Mm. Mm. What do you like more about uh, Mami Jenny and what you don't like about her? Huh? huh. You better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about Mami Jenny? Mm -hmm. The answer is, I mean, it's gonna take some time because the answer is too long. Ah. There's a lot of things, right? <laughs> but, but. <laughs> I think she. Um, only one, only one, no problem. Only one. Mm, just tell only one. No, I think really uh, the main thing about her is she's naturally a caring person for everyone around, and the positivity that she embraces um, it helps it helps me as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's the main thing I like about her. Um, very positive and naturally a caring person. Um, but you don't like? What I don't like? Maybe whenever I'm angry and then I don't say anything. Like my mood just changes yeah, just like that. Yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah, when you're angry and then you just stop talking to you. Stop talking straight away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that. Mm -hmm. Next question is from Ravilene. Hello, Be. Um, hi, Ate. Question for Kuya Uni. What, uh, what's something you've always wanted to learn how to do? Swimming. <laughs> mm. He doesn't know how to swim. Especially now that my wife is from Philippines. <laughs> I really want to learn swimming. But it's okay since she also doesn't know to swim. <laughs> it's okay. I also don't know how to swim, babe. So yes. Um, question for me: If you could travel to any country in the world for one month, where would you go? Where would you go? Dada knows this. Please answer. Japan. Japan. <laughs> And um, what pretty thing that people do really gets on your nerves? Uh, siguro um, yung yung taong yung taong masadong ano yung very extrovert, very happy, who talks too much, ganon. Kasi ako guys hindi kasi ako masadong ano hindi ako masadong um, I'm a little bit uh, introvert person. So parang siguro yung parang 
um, who, who really gets on my nerves is yung opposite, yung extrovert na person. Yun yung parang na ano ko, na aasiwa ba yun guys? Ganun. So, next question is from Arijit Singh Gupta. Ananya will always be Ananya. I am always making sure that I will never miss any video which is having Ananya. <laughs> Thank you, Arijit. Um, can you please make some videos on cuisine from Philippines? Um, if there is, if that is possible. This request is just to have understanding about the difference and similarities between two countries. Moreover, do you have any plan to start working again when Ananya grows up? Um, yeah, Arijit, that definitely whenever I have time, I will cook um, or I will make um, any like Filipino cuisine and then I will do a vlog. Definitely as I have promised. So, yes. Do you have any plans to start working again when Ananya grows up? Um, we don't know. Uh, yes, working again is definite, but will we work for us or will we work for somebody else is something that we are considering at the moment. So there is definite plan that that we have to work, but it's just a choice between whom do we have to work for. For us, that's starting our own thing or, mm -hmm. or work for somebody else mm -hmm. like we have been before. Mm -hmm. There's something Which is, mm, we're not really considering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't know, only time will tell. Mm -hmm. Next question is from Marlene Soretta. Hello, sis. Question What did you like about each other? Same question, no? We already uh, 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 I answered that you have to Yeah, answer. okay. Um, what I like about Dada, he loves me. <laughs> no, actually, he's. He's caring. Yeah. Scary? Caring. Goro ni si Oi. He's caring. He's scary. He's scary. I can just really feel his love towards me. Which mm, even before I I can really feel his um his pure love, Ganon. And his loyalty. Yes, his loyalty guys, number one yon. Which D? <laughs> loyalty! Uh. <laughs> up na, up na again. Who has more bigger eyes, mom or daughter? <laughs> as, as of now, daughter. We don't know how it's going to be later. But daughter has bigger eyes. Mm -hmm. But the biggest is mine. <laughs> Actually, before guys, when um, Ananya was still a baby, she, he, she has a very, very big eyes. Mm. Yes, she really looks like Dada, and then eventually she she started becoming more, more me. But um, they're saying that her eyes is becoming small now. But anyway, I think it will it will change. We don't know. Um, next question, guys, is from Judy Ann Melo. Hello, sis. Hi, Cheta and Chechi. Did his parents arrange him for marriage once? If yes, how did he deal with it? God bless your family. Ananya is super cute. Always watching your vlog. Thank you. Were you arranged once? No. No. Never. Ever. <laughs> I didn't give them the chance. And last question is from Ilocana in India Vlogs. Hello sis, thank you so much for watching as always. I think similar question. Um, were, your, were your parents were um, against when they came to know about, about us? Similar question? Yes. Answer that? Uh, no, no, no. Not, not yes. <laughs> Answer that, love. Answer that as, as, right? as the last. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same like before. Mm, no. They, Not really. Yeah. Like, uh. we, but we had to do some convincing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think next time you have this uh, Q&A, mm -hmm. we have to call our manager also. <laughs> <laughs> so they can ask them directly. <laughs> Hopefully, there will be another um, Q&A videos. Guys, um... <laughs> 
thank you so much again. Thank you so much for um, watching our videos and thank you so much for sending all, all of your questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> so thank you so much for your cooperation. My guest experience, I have a guest appearance. Mm. It's been a long time also now that we didn't like we sat down together. Yeah. Mm. You don't have time for me now. Uh -huh. but, but. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you so much again and we will see you in the next one. And we will see you in the next one. Please always remember to work hard, stay humble and be kind. Bye!